I'm gonna find. And I'm gonna kill. Every last one of them. Sound like so. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not going to guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? More uh walking, less talking. You should see your face right now. What am I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> this way. The worst. The swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You gotta push the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Haley, come here. Take a look at this. You see that deer over there? You see there. Just through there, look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like... How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. You're gonna need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. Got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. <gasps> Here. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a 
Massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. That's a, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Dinosaur. What's this? Uh, it's a book. It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Joel, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, hey, <laughs> good one. Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Ceratops. I guess there's one I recognize. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. That's a pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Mimesis' name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Ooh, imagine the poops! Word. Oh, cool. What you got there? These uh, superhero cards. Seems like they were popular. I think Sarah was into those for a while. I forget.
go. Nice. This one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Get you in the right light. Boom, Tommy. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gun girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. Well, wait, how would they... Oh, well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that... Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so... Anyway, he flew to space on April 12th, 1961. Color me impressed. How many books have you read about this? Why don't you tell me what you like about it? Hmm. I don't know. People in your time, they had it easy. Hmm. <laughs> I guess, relatively speaking, sure. I mean, they didn't need to go to space, but they did it anyway. It's ballsy. Hmm. Ballsy. All right, kiddo. Now I get it. Hey, did you know that the heat shields of space shuttles are made of sand? I did not. Thought it was some kind of thick rubber. Nope. Sand. You're welcome. Want another one? Shoot. Astronauts drink their own pee. Filtered, but you know. <clears throat> well, we gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's a less fun fact. Oh. Hey, Joel, 
Can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. You know how many times we've been to the moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm gonna make it seven. Where's a steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Just the real one. <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. this way we can't leave here yet still a lot of stuff to explore oh shit okay <laughs> <laughs> 